And now we are joined by strategic consultant and member of the Likud Central Committee, Dol Harlap. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So the 25th Knesset being sworn in today, an exciting yes. day. What are the main challenges that will face this Knesset? So I believe that this Knesset will have a few challenges. First of all, in the last few years, because we had this such a crazy situations, um, there were many basic rules that have been changed. We had two prime ministers in the last few years, and the power of small parties was much more than it used to be. Um, I believe that it's a, it's a great challenge that we will have right now, and also the Norwegian um, um, law that makes uh, extra, that bring us to have, uh, to get, gets us to have more um, parliament members, which doesn't have uh, much power as the usual Chavir uh, Knesset parliament member has. Um, I believe that in the last few weeks we will see how Yariv Levine is leading the coalition in a way to change the way that we govern the, the, the today. Um, it, interesting to see that uh, which, which um, minister is uh, Bezalel Smutrich and, um, and uh, Arya Deri will receive uh, because they have not so many mandates. But if we will take a look on the last two years, four years, we see that if you get so many mandates, you can get the most... So uh, let's talk about uh, this, this new coalition that's, that's forming the yes. coalition negotiations. Everyone thought this was going to be a piece of cake. Netanyahu finally has his dream right-wing government. Why is it taking so long to form? First of all, I'm not sure that this is Netanyahu's dream. I know that it's, it's his voters' dream, okay? That, it's a little bit different. Um, but I believe that many of the people in the right wing feel like many of their wishes and their ideologies were being set aside in the last few years. And now they have this amazing opportunity to make them possible in the real world. So they, they want to see how they, they make it happen. I'll, I'll take again Bezalel Smotrich as an example. He believes that, um, that, the, that all of the situation in um, Judah and Samaria, Yudav Shomron, should be changed, okay? And he wants to get tools to, to, to do that. Now, it's not that easy. It's, it's a process that should, have, should be happening in, I don't know, a few years, not so many. I, I believe we should do, do the same, but it takes a while. And now he feels that he ha like he has the opportunity. And that's his chance. He doesn't know what we're going to have in three or four or five years if we're going to have the same situation again. And now, you know, the latest news coming out uh, of the Likud is that Arya Deri might be given the position of defense minister. Uh, what is the thought process here? It seems a bit of a mismatch, especially considering the fact that the majority of his constituents don't even serve in the IDF. I believe that Arya Deri um, even if he has a great experience sitting in the cabinet, I believe that today he's, uh, he's been sitting in the most um, cabinet meetings among all the, the other ministers to be, ministers to be. But still, um, I don't think it's relevant for him to be um, a defense minister. And yet Netanyahu supposedly, reportedly we offered him We see a position. lot. First of all, he has 11 seats, you know. Netanyahu doesn't have to, doesn't... Ha he, he can't just do whatever he wants, you know? You know, his, his coalition is making him do things, you know? There he says, hey, guys, I got 11 seats. I would like to get what I should get for 11 seats. Now, Bitsalel also saying the same thing. So Netanyahu here is... is but doesn't a, Derry want the finance ministry, the interior ministry? First of Smotrich all... Smotrich clearly after the defense ministry. Smotrich clearly, from what I see, wants to be uh, the finance minister, okay? But he's being pushed away for many reasons. Um, I believe that he will be a great finance minister. Um, but Arya Deri, Arya Deri, I believe, should take something like he used to, to do until now, to be interior minister, interior affairs minister. I used to work with his team and also a little bit with him when I was a political advisor in the Knesset. Um, they did a great job. They, have, they are very good at this. And maybe to take trans transportation, which is very important to his voters, okay, because they, many of them use... Uh, public transportation, and I believe that this is an issue that you need a strong uh, minister to, to make some changes. So if Agaderi will take to himself interior affairs and transportation, I, I believe this is a fair deal. Um, about It's very interesting to speak about uh, Ron Dremer. I don't know if you, you... Right, there's reports that he's being offered uh, the foreign minister. What can you yes. tell us about that? 
So I believe that Ron Dremer is able to be a great um, foreign affairs uh, minister. He, ha he, he was a fantastic um, the ambassador clearly. in yeah. Washington. Everybody knows in the world that he and Netanyahu have close relationship. relationship. And also, um, he can be a good face for us among leaders among, uh, in the world. And he can continue to push the momentum from Abraham's Accord to, towards uh, many other peace process and, uh, and strengthening our uh, relations with many countries in the world. Um, so I believe this is so a great we'll, idea. We'll see, I think, in the coming days, in the coming weeks for sure. What's going to be? The yeah, very, 11th deadline. Very interesting to see. Dohala, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you, thank you very much.